This is Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and of course, I'm usually here with Ewa Oritu and Ife Oluwa Shunke. Yeah. Hey, guys. What's up? How are you doing? doing? I'm doing. Great. How's your, How's your weekend? weekend? Fantastic. I'm asking my question. <laughs> <laughs> Just sink like that. If that was your weekend, amazing. Yours? If so what did you do? What did I do? Okay, Friday I went out and um, I slept the whole of Saturday. No, I didn't sleep the whole of Saturday. I slept for a little bit. Of <laughs> Were you out? No, you already gave me a recap. Then I went for a wedding and then. Oh wow, yeah. you went for a wedding. Yeah, it was. We had so much fun. Yeah, and then yesterday, what did I do? I went to church. I went wow. to the barbers and then um, yeah. It's first only a new man, but um, before <laughs> yes, we continue so. this conversation, that's what happens when you, you have a good man in your life. Mm. If you don't tell us about her, no, not yet. Are you sure? The you one you are so. doing the celibacy thing with, mm? yeah, yeah, we'll celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, moving on. We have um, guests in the studio, but before that, we need to touch on what happened over the weekend. And of course, we cannot do without talking about Hedis. Um, I think that gives so many people mixed reactions, right? Mm. Mixed feelings. And I'm genuinely happy for some people. I'm happy for Yemi Alade because I think she deserved her own category, which was mm. um, best performance on stage, mm. right? I'm also happy for Ward because I feel like Ward yeah, is I'm super so talented mm -hmm. and he's finally getting recognized. Mm -hmm. Of course, Faust. I mean, mm. that's another one. And who else? I Actually. think those are the three that. Tenny, I'm happy for Tenny, but there's one category that the I don't know what she was doing like, there. But I yeah, congratulations to her. For me, yeah. Yeah, big shout out to Tenny. Yeah, she's a great singer, but um, in comparison to the people she was um, nominated along with, mm. like, um, what's it Waji. called? Waji. Waji and the Girl likes. LA. You yeah. know, I don't think she met up to standard. Mm. I don't mm. know. But, but everybody is saying it's because it's Uyomeyo. And Uyomeyo is a great song, mm -hmm. but I think it's also a, a traditional folktale song, mm -hmm. and anyone would have sang that song that same way. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> <laughs> not anyone would have sang song that way, but mm -hmm. yeah, I agree with what both of you have said about she does not deserve that particular category. Category. I mean, she doesn't even fit to be nominated for that category with those set of people. Mm. They're not to talk of giving her the award. I mm -hmm. don't think. But for every other person that got went home with an award, mm. I'm happy. I say congratulations. Okay. Of course, um, Bonaboy was the artist of the year. That mm. that was not surprising. Even yeah. when the person <laughs> giving the award was saying. Um, and he's and he's, I'm like, please just say the name, we know, right? And I think he won another one too, Song, song, song of the yeah. Year. Mm -hmm. And who? I think best collaboration. Of yeah, the that's um, Killing Them with Slatter. Mm. Mm. And of course, Whiskey had his um, concert yesterday. Yeah, that was too. there. And Godmother David Do. <laughs> yeah, we were in London. Easy, we, we were in London while you guys were. Uh, Mm -hmm. I saw something. No, I saw something. That so much they, were, the organizers of Edis will never forget, forgive Whiskey for packing everybody. You know, I mean, Starfest was Lagos. so packed. Man, mm -hmm. you should have been no. there. I don't know mm -hmm. why. You, you didn't meet your, you, mm -hmm. you didn't catch mm -hmm. your flight, right? Mm -hmm. Because I know I got her a ticket, but mm. she just didn't make it. Too bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the weekend was definitely fun, and we we'll probably will talk. And then now uh, we need to say a big congratulations to the band. Yeah, oh, the band yeah. is also mm. back on his daddy duties, mm -hmm. and I'm so glad about that. You know, it's a miracle working God at the end of the day. It is. Okay, so uh, <laughs> we need to go on a very quick break, but when we come back, you find out who these guests are. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early.
Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And if you've been following us for the past um, few weeks, you know we've been promoting something called Superstars. And um, with us in the studio is someone that I would gladly call a superstar. He's a veteran. And I just um, realized some minutes ago that he also loves to cook. So little wonder he's on this project. Shego Arinze is here. And of course, a chef on his team, Chef Ehiz. Thank you for right, being good morning, here. Guys. Good morning. Is that your style? Yes. Yeah. So let me know. Is that a ritual? The one, two, go. Now we're going to know. Good to have you here, sir. Uh, thank you, thank you. Okay, so before we go, and get into... kudos to Plus TV. Thank you. Uh, all the hard work. Yeah. Thank you very much. Everything going well. Mm -hmm. we, 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 I'm seeing the... Let me go flatter you guys, but I'm seeing the Nigerian CNN. Thank, mm -hmm. you. thank you. so much. So before we get to superstars... We were mm. talking about the headies, mm. and we saw your reaction back before we introduced you. Yes. You, you particularly reacted to what Ife said about oh, yeah. um, Tenny not being deserving of the particular she category. Deserved, she deserved, Tenny deserved that her performance. You see, when you're giving an award, it's like what you're even giving for footballers. It's based on your current form. Mm. All right? And I think she did a great job on New Yomi and vocal strength, uh, breath control, everything about that song was just perfect, just worked out right for her. Mm. Um, Waji is a fantastic singer, no doubt about that. She's also a close friend, but I, I think personally that for <clears throat> the current form, she deserved it. And the song was a commercial success. Mm. It's something that it was on everybody's lips. Yeah. It is on everybody's lips. Even the, the smallest kid will, will sing with your male. So, right. uh, it's that. So you, you, you must give her that credit. But there was one that I just did not agree, which was, uh, was his best new artist. Performing new, uh, recording yes, artist. Recording oh, no, artist. So, yeah, I didn't agree with that. I would have preferred, I would have, personal opinion, would have preferred uh, the Bonne current Boy. king of, of it all, Giant of Africa, mm -hmm. Banner Boy. No, he was smoking. He's been smoking hot all through the year. The song he did with Zlatan. Mm -hmm. I, and it's the smoking that. literally, too. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. Sorry. I didn't say that. Disclaimer. Mm. I didn't say that. <laughs> so, um, generally, I, 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 I think the head is also had his little bit of um, problems in terms of the snob. Mm. A lot of stars mm. did not attend. I was in the whole list. A lot of stars did not attend. I think it, it has come to a level where we need to sit down as, as artists and promoters and managers and say, listen, this is a calendar for the year, this is how it's going to be. Mm. Can you guys? Mm. Because, for crying out loud, if it was BET that was organizing or it mm. was um, uh, MTV, MTV. Mm. all of them will be there. Definitely. They will all shift. We need to start supporting We need to start own. supporting each yeah. other. And I think <clears throat> it was so awful that people were coming on stage to receive awards on behalf of the artist. It just was, wasn't cool. But it's business sense, mm. so you can't really blame Whiskey for, for, his, for, concert. for, for his concert. He, I'm sure there were, it's an old, the O2 Arena, and of course we all know how much that goes for, and mm -hmm. your date, it might be difficult for you to get on that to time. Shoot, but I yeah. think that in, in future, they need to sit down and work it out. So, okay, I'm going to have my event. Can you push forward? Because I want you at my event. Mm. And after that, I can also come, come for your, your, your own event. So there, there needs to be... Uh, a discussion up, uh, at some point. But a lot of people that. are blaming it on the music politics, saying that um, some people that are deserving of certain awards do not even get nominated. That so there's a politics to the edge. There is right all now. politics everywhere, including yeah. the Grammys. Mm. Definitely. There's politics everywhere. You can't help it. You you just cannot help it. So if you start going that direction, that trajectory, I don't think I I, I won't support that. I I just won't believe that. It's a sport. Mm. First and foremost. So you win, you lose your winner. And being a nominee, it's even something. That they nominated you in mm -hmm. itself is a recognition of, of your effort and, and your creativity and your talent. It is respect for your talent. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we all must win. Definitely. I've sat down in a hallway, I was nominated for Best Actor. Mm -hmm. There was so much tension. I'm sorry, Best Supporting Actor at the AMVCA. And all, all eyes were all on the four of us that were nominated, five of us that were nominated. The person who won, and I went and said, congratulations. Mm -hmm. Being nominated is something. So I think we need to be to respect that and give value to it. Okay, so let's stop all this uh, political <laughs> politics. Okay. Okay. I think it's time to do the things that the chef will understand. So <laughs> before we get yeah, to the superstars, do you want to talk about music? Yeah, not, not much. Well, you taste music while you're cooking. Don't you have music when you're, when you're, when you're uh, bouncing on? No, I, I, I like to focus when wow. I'm. Wow! So when you're cool, you can't be doing them, killing them, nah. so you're cutting. <laughs> 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 
So you don't cook with music? No, I don't. Well, uh -huh. I, you want I, silence? I, 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 I read uh, recipes. I, 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 uh, I, I work with my succussional mind when I'm cooking, wow. so I don't know. Um, so you see what's going to happen now. And it's like a so, team. So, uh, it's good. We're going to have gonna to sit down and have that discussion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so before Sorry. we go ahead, let's watch the promo and we'll come back to this conversation. Okay. Superstar. Mega celebrities. Shagun Arinze, King Tonto DK, Monalisa Tinda, Ni Idibia, Angela Okori, Alex Ekubo, Ibina Bonfebrisima, Regina Askia, and many other celebrities and chefs will compete against each other in the first ever celebrity cooking competition, Soup or Stars. Join us at the biggest street party and trade fair with the best of DJs, comedians, and vendors. Come, taste the glory of Africa in her rich array of traditional food varieties and island cultures. Be our guest as your finest celebrities present you brunch on Soup or Stars. Friday, 6th of December at Grand Atrium on Lekki AP Expressway, 12 noon prompt. Tickets available at CocoBar.com for inquiries. Call Green at 0805-752-1573 or email superstarsmail at gmail.com. Superstars, S-O-U-P-A-S-T-A-R-S. Superstars. Superstars. <laughs> Super <laughs> okay, so what is this Super project? <laughs> that was a behind the scenes. Inside <laughs> joke. Well, it's a, inside life and inside joke. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. It was Ali Baba who wrote to you. You survived this. Okay, okay, let's go. Okay, on. so tell us about the event itself. Okay, I, I think it's best position to say that he is. Yeah, because okay, he's the boss here, so. Uh, okay, it, 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 it's 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 a cooking competition among mm -hmm. celebrities. Uh, find on how we do with our culinary, and uh, we we'll talk about nutrition and the values of nutrition and outside of the creativity and the talent of, of making food and making it exciting. So mm -hmm. December 6th, you know, like you rightly saw there, mm -hmm. all the celebrities will be there with the chefs mm -hmm. um, leading us. We'll just be giving all the support. And let's see how we make the soup and the stars. There's a grand mm -hmm. prize, right? Yeah, there is a grand Are you prize. very competitive on this one? Do you, I'm going to be very silent win? on that. We don't like bragging. Mm. Mm. Oh, my God. Wow. If it comes, it comes. It doesn't come, it doesn't come. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you want to tell us what you're making that day? No, definitely no. We'll not tell our recipe. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> recipe. Yeah. 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 Recipe and one oh, we're preparing. No, 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 no. No, we will not tell you. So you are Team Benue, right? You are Team Benue. So it has to be a local food from Benue, I'm uh, guessing. Yes, it has to be a local food from Benue. Mm -hmm. Not really um, a full local food from Benue. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be fusion because the Benue have a special delicacy. So what are the special delicacies um, from Benue? This oh, God, you want to talk to me? Okay, let's, let's keep that. Competitors, hide it, hide it. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Let me just give you a give tip. Of it. Let me just give you a tip. Of it. I don't so know you can, the local food from being wasted. Okay, like, there's, there's this sesame um, soup. Okay. And they love bush meat a lot, so oh. I'm going to be working. I'm going to. Uh, I just go back from um, Adokiti, Elisha, the weekend. To shop for superstars. I just go around, eat food, oh, love food, okay. stuff like that. So there's this. Um, they love. A lot of bush meat there, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna send uh, one of my chefs to get a bush meat. Mm -hmm. So we'll be working with that now. Mm -hmm. so it's already. So be... Don't worry, there's a lot. We do. <laughs> oh, there's a lot. Don't I know there's this soup of bamboo too that they mm. has this like 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 a um, stick. Okay. That when they, it draws like a uh, oh, no. that type that type. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, so you watch your favorite right, so food. I don't have a favorite food actually. Mm. I used to. But as I grew, I just realized I didn't have anything. Yeah, yeah. So, any, so, so my, no, not eat everything. <laughs> no, no, no. no. I eat something that's good and nutritious. Mm -hmm. I'm a connoisseur of good food and wine. Oh I like the mm -hmm. fact that you've been um, talking about healthy living and um, nutritious food and all of that. Now, how do you think this event is actually going to promote that? Because a lot of people just eat whatever they see. There are a lot of roadside you know, things <laughs> right now. How Incid do you think incidentally, incidentally, I... I, I, I Allow me to go a little bit off cough. We're having also on the program next month, November, which is called the Harvest Plus uh, Nutritious Food Fair. And that's all they talk about. And they're talking about hidden hunger. That sometimes you're hungry and you eat. And the food you're eating is just to satisfy the mm -hmm. hunger. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing nutritious mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. it. You gotta eat more. There's nothing in more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's absolutely nothing in it. But you're just eating for the sake of we're eating meat. You pretend you're eating meat, but there's nothing in it. But it's fish. Fish has 
A lot of natural has a lot in it. Some goat meat has a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, kidney and all that. But you need to begin to find out, we need to begin to understand how when we're eating, you don't even have to eat so much to get the nutrients that your body needs. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But um, a lot of people will argue that in Nigeria, we all we do is recycled food. Like we don't have a lot of um, what they call variety. That's because we are people on the move, always on the move. Mm -hmm. Twenty-four hours is not enough for us. You want to sit down and start thinking, okay, let me get this, let me get this, let me get that. Now, you can only do that during December when there's a break. Mm -hmm. But everybody is always on the move. Everybody, you wake up sometimes because you need to beat traffic at four a.m. You're up. Good. I think this is yeah. more about Lagos. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's all about all about Nigeria. Nigeria. I used to think it was Lagos. Mm -hmm. it was like this thing. I went to Ibadan, Ibadan last week. Same thing, you wake up early in the morning. So it's, it's, you see, the, 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 everybody is becoming so contrapped. I mean, the, getting closer and closer, we're all just getting bunched up. Traffic, everybody. So but, you need enough time for you to do that. Abroad, they can go on break, they can take a break and say, okay, I'm, they think about the quality of food. Even in America, they're having the same problem. One of the Americans that came last week that was talking with them, they just have the same problem. Obesity, they can't pick the right foods and all that. So we're just getting all bunched up. But mm -hmm. I think it's time for us to just break out and begin to think about nutrition. Like, um, you're always on the move too. So how do you manage to eat good food, even with your job and your busy schedule? Well, my dear, what I do is, because I'm not be arrogant, I can afford it. Mm -hmm. So I call. And I said, this and these are the things I want. Mm -hmm. How many people can afford that? Mm -hmm. That's a question you ask yourself. So that is where the problem lies. But if we start this campaign of nutrition by going around to all the cafeterias and bookers and say, these are the things that you need to add to your food. Makes sense. So even with 100 naira, 200 naira, you can now eat food that has nutrition. Mm -hmm. So there is the awareness is not there. How affordable can balanced diets be? Because I think balanced diets is that part they teach us in school. That's the right word, the balanced diet. We, don't have so we have balanced food. We, I said, <laughs> if somebody put some things together, say that the balanced food. Mm -hmm. The food is balanced, but unbalanced in terms of nutrition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, like that he so how achievable is that balanced diet? Well, I think it's not visible part of the world right now because um, the, the society is not built that way right now to create that um, avenue atmosphere for people to be able to afford balanced diet. Mm. Okay, I want to have a formula 010, or probably 010, because I have a meal a day, so I have to push it to about 11.30 before eating it, and then I have to eat something very, very heavy so that I can sustain my lifestyle and then save enough money for the, on the, the journey. And so it's not going to be real, it's not, it's not a real talk right now because we cannot achieve it. Mm. Mm. So because um, more, more, more of the population are living below the standards, That's so quite hard we cannot really it. prove it. So, mm. like what he said, he can afford some things, mm -hmm. but because he can afford it, not everybody can afford it. 65% to 80% cannot afford it. Wow. So the 20% that is left have a particular style of eating. So if we have to project, the Ni Nigeria is wide and we have a lot of food, over 250 um, tribes, and that is huge. So. Um, so if we have to project all of these cuisine at the same time, which we have the famous cuisine, we have the second B, B cuisine, mm -hmm. then Nigeria must be open, Nigerians must be open to eat what they probably have not seen before they can trust mm. the person preparing them. So healthy cooking, good food, diet is about who is cooking it, how much of um, awareness does he have about healthy cooking? Because right now in Lagos, I can guarantee you most of the restaurants are already cooking good food. Mm. But we are eating because Lagos mm. is the center of hub, so everybody I feel like you rushed that part. Can you take it again? Right now. And the fast food that we eat, yeah. heart mm -hmm. problems, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. cholesterol, mm -hmm. and all mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. A lot. Hmm. All right, so being a chef, I, I can only imagine what your feeding will be like, especially when. So, what do you eat on a daily okay. basis? Because I eat my food. I eat my food more. Yeah, so I, I, what did you have this morning for breakfast? This morning? Yeah. Nothing yet. My, mm. my morning dish is uh, most times breakfast coffee. Coffee eating about two. Mm. Um, so, that keeps me on to about two. And then I eat, um, uh, I eat anything that is good. Yesterday night was a bar with um, Ogbono with um, bush meat, um, varieties of bush mm. meat and stuff is like that. Is your eating a factor of what you're preparing for your clients or you actually I eat what I prepare for my client because I need to know so what I'm giving to my client. I need to be sure. So wow. I'm not the kind of chef that says I don't eat what so I cook. So you that's don't not, that's decide not, I want to eat oha soup for example and I, just go for it. I need to be sure where it's coming from. I need to be sure the chef behind it. I need mm. to be sure how they prepare it. I cannot forget calabar. 
I had um, the there's this native restaurant in Calabar. I kind of forget it's over two years now. And then those guys are good. The soup was good. What did the alfan was good. <laughs> the the cocoa was yeah, good. Yeah, the white soup was good. You really are speaking. It seems like the Sinaqua album is about to win. No, 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 but you see, they have some fantastic culinary. Mm -hmm. Between mm -hmm. Nagwaibom and Cross River State, they have That's some true. fantastic culinary. You, when it comes to cooking, just give it to them. Mm -hmm. Just give it to them. Um, but I will not say totally hand over the so diadem like to them. Yeah, trust me, well, we <laughs> just, uh, no, it's not like, <laughs> you see, all parts of the country have their strong, mm. the strong diet, their, their, their stronger, how do I put it now? Are we trying a black soup? From Benin, from oh, Edo State. Have you tried, have tried it? Oh, or Edo State, I've tried the black soup. soup. That's one of the oh, wow. soup. It, does it come out mm -hmm. black? Yeah, yeah. It's black, yeah, but it's, it's beautiful. Black, so it's and it's medicinal. It's tasty, medicinal, healthy, oh, and oh, very it's good. It's black? Yes. Wow. Very, very good. Medicinal, very good. I've traveled around this country and have tasted a lot. Looks, we're just so blessed. Mm -hmm. If only we can harness all those things. Yeah, honestly. We believe in eating well. Yeah, we're blessed. How often do you cook? I cook when I have the time to cook. Cook all sorts. I go see. I what was the it. last thing you cooked? Mm. Okay, the last thing I did was spaghetti. I did spaghetti bolognese with, mm. with, wow. with all that, and then Tell chopped, us the recipe. So let's chopped, know whether uh, you're saying chickens and all that. <laughs> Tell uh, us the recipe. How do you make that? How do I make that? I get the spaghetti. Make mm -hmm. sure it's quality spaghetti. Mm -hmm. um, I have my yellow pepper, my mm. green pepper, I have the spring onions and of course mm. the other onion, and a bit of all the spices that have thyme. Mm. Um, I try as much as we to use olive oil, even mm. though they tell you <laughs> all oils are the, are the same. I try to use uh, olive oil for that. And then um, for the chicken and the beef, I just uh, pre-boil, garnish it and then Put it in the oven sometimes and put a pepper on it. So, it's a, it's a it's a process for me. I can't sit down and ex explain everything, but come to the kitchen and we'll have some exciting time. Together. I hope the yeah. fans <laughs> listen. So, in case you missed out anything, please tweet at us. Oh, really? <laughs> call him out. Come You see how I'm <laughs> Outside the superstar, mm -hmm. I want to talk about you. Are you now fully into politics? No, no, I'm still an actor. Mm -hmm. mm, politics, you got to be not totally, mm -hmm. but I'm getting ready, getting ready for it. I'm, I'm seeing the horizon. You know, my eyes are big. I can see the future. So, mm -hmm. I'm getting myself ready, ready for it. Uh, but also be trying to be careful so I, you know you don't get polluted along the line and miss mm -hmm. miss the mark no, because that's no. the wrong thing for you to do. When you miss the mark, you miss the all. So you need to be very careful if you're standing for the people and you want to do things. First, people, some people see you as a role model. Mm -hmm. And so when you're a role model, it becomes more difficult for you because every little thing you do, your actions, inactions, people take it in and mm -hmm. they'll call you out. So by so, getting yourself ready, what do you mean? Means surveying, asking questions, mm -hmm. learning the ropes, talking to people, and be very wary of some certain people character around you. Uh -huh. And know that whatever you say, you stand by it and you speak mm -hmm. for it. And sure. integrity. Counts. You must have that integrity, that pedigree. Uh, you, being a public figure is that when you go out and talk to people, who should believe you. Mm. Mm. That's why I find sometimes politicians go and get big stars to come and talk for them, world, world over. So you really need to be careful about um, how, where you place yourself, so that you don't get sh you don't shoot yourself in the foot. Mm. So, what's your take on the state of the nation presently? The state of the nation is the state of the nation. What's the state of the nation? The nation is the state, right? <laughs> <laughs> don't drag me into politics this morning. We will not finish. So can we just nicely continue? No, 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 no. Superstar! <laughs> okay, so let's, let's, let's look at the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. What would you... I mean, you've been there over the years. It's 20 years, more than that. 36 years. 36 years. What would you Bring change Hollywood. if you had the power to... Everything has changed. Everything that's evolving is evolving. Mm -hmm. Life is cyclical. It goes round, comes back, goes round, comes back. It's just that um, in everything you do, you have the curves. So it's like in life, life, life has its own curve. If you speed towards the, get to a curve, you fall off, go off the cliff. So you need to know when to slow down and negotiate that bend and continue your journey. Mm -hmm. So those bends are the challenges in your life. Being on the straight is when you're enjoying everything. When you're climbing the hill, that's your high point. 
And when you're coming down the hill, they'll be take, take it easy. But knowing that when you're going along, carry people along with you. Never be arrogant, never be stupid. Don't talk mm -hmm. anyhow because people work so hard. Everybody contributes to making a building you as a brand. Mm -hmm. And if you misbehave, they all leave you. You become like the proverbial tortoise that fell off the sky when he went up mm -hmm. in the sky and said, I'm all of you. And they gave him everything mm -hmm. and ignored everybody. So you mm -hmm. really need to be careful in life as, as, as whether you're a politician, you're an entertainer, whatever it is, you need to be careful and know that people work so hard to build a brand for you and take your soul. You must carry everybody along. Respect for everybody. Do we have enough of carrying along in the Nollywood industry now? I would not totally say that it's carried along by everybody. Everybody can speak for themselves. Mm. But I know that it's an industry that's forging. Things are changing. The way things are now, not the way things are. We're having a lot of young and dynamic filmmakers. You're having veterans who are also never, who have the never say die spirit, like me, like RMD, like Ramsey. Oh, by the way, Ramsey has a new film right I'm now. I'm looking forward to that. Living yeah. in Monday, Breaking mm -hmm. Free. I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud. Ramsey, this is for you. Mm -hmm. So I'm very, very happy about that. And so it just tells you that we're growing. We're growing. And the dynamics of filmmaking is also changing. All right? So we begin to understand that. And then, of course, um, Charles Novia is also doing well, which mm -hmm. is Teen Africa TV. Mm -hmm. So things are generally just changing. I'm also getting ready to shoot my own movie. Uh, I just did one, Unraveled, trying to get into the next one. So, mm -hmm. so many things are happening. But the dynamics are changing. And you must be ready to adapt to those changes mm -hmm. as it comes along. You don't sit down on one spot and say, uh, I did it before. I get that before the property. Mm. Yes. <laughs> so you need to be always ahead of the game. You must always be abreast. Keep abreast of everything that's happening around you. Young ones, learn from them. That's mm. one thing, one good thing that you must learn from everybody, even from a baby. Mm. Learn from a baby. Learn from a baby. Learn from a good middle age. Learn from the young style, from the old. A marketing mix of everything will take you there. Okay, our time is over. One last word from you before we finally go. What do we expect on the 6th of December? Wow, expect, expect the best from one of us, Okay. Yeah. Expect the best, um, and not just from us, from everybody who's going to be there. Mm -hmm. okay. So we're all urging you come out on the 6th mm -hmm. of December at a Grand Atrium, Lecky, and let's see all the stars come and cook for you. Some sweet, some not so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, the bottom line is here, better soup. I'm on the killer. That's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching, and you can also watch Tea Time in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always go to Michael Ankos, if you only watch okay, and Ewa Ritsu, the entire production team, and of course, our guest, Shegu Anze. And say thank you to Regina Askia because she put this together. She's the coordinator of superstars. And my name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching, and see you later.